Yeah, it's Christmas time. We can do a little Christmas right, special. All right, let's do that. You guys, what time is it? Is it? All right, guys, we're, we're, we're coming at you with a little bonus content here, a little little holiday joy for your uh, yeah. Christmas cravings, I guess you call it. So, the, yeah, so the question is, what's the best Christmas movie? Can I tell you my favorite Christmas movie? It's A Year Without a Santa Claus, and it's the one with, like, Snow Miser and Heat Miser. It's, like, one of the old, like, the like stuff. That, yeah, yeah. That's, like, the red-headed stepchild of that of claymation that Christmas movie. That's the one. That's, well, like, what are the other ones within that collection? It's uh, Rudolph, Rudolph the Red like, Red Babes in Toyland. Uh, Frosty the Frosty, Snowman. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad you brought that up because I, I feel like I've been missing those for the last seven years. Because yeah, those are really good. Yeah, you, you I have like a compilation. Uh, you know what? Yes, I feel like we should. Out. I feel like we should watch those sometimes. I have. Dude. I have like all of them at my house. Movie night with the with, with, movie the, night kids. with the kids. Yeah, <laughs> and Uncle Kyle. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Josh, bring your headphones. <laughs> yes, I'm, I, I, mine I'm, is my. I think the best one is it's um, a Charlie Brown Christmas. It's I was gonna say if I had favorite. to, if I had to, I like. I mean. Oh, I, you know, Miracle and all those right. old classics, and but but there's something about those claymation. They're short. Yeah, that it really okay. It's, it's nostalgic. Yeah, and it really it really like taps into your soul uh -huh. even before it became nostalgic. Yeah, <laughs> like if it's the first time, it almost um, it's like pseudo nostalgia if you've never seen it. Because you it's know like what they mean yeah. because you go like you watch like a newer Christmas movie and you go like ah, but like hey, it's like. They already made it, right? It's, yeah. But like, but like, a year without a Santa Claus to me just like always was. Yeah, <laughs> and it's so eternal. Like, and so like that is Christmas. It is. Like, yeah. it, the, that is. That's it's actually that's where Christmas, Christmas came from. The best Maybe. part. The best part about those movies is that they don't have any lasting impact on you. So you watch them, and then an hour later, you forget that you watch them, and you go back, and they feel fresh every time you mm -hmm. sit down. Called to... goldfish movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry I didn't talk about this in episode one about timelessness and objectively yeah. good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Josh. So oh, go I would it, go say it. I would say um, Charlie Brown Christmas is a must for me. Home Home Alone, Alone. and then um, don't say Elf. Oh, never. I love Elf. Um, that's fine, but it's not a must watch. It's not a it's, must. Actually, Home Alone, New York City, only because it's in New York City for me. I don't know why. It's just cozy. It's very it's sweet. Good. Um, now here's a movie I absolutely love, and I have to watch. Is Family Stone. Really? That's yes. That's with Luke Wilson. Is yes. It? Okay. That's really random. That's an interesting one. But it's a eh. But it's good. What? What's <laughs> I that? I have to watch it. I don't know what it is. It's probably nostalgia really? for me. Yeah, maybe because that's like <clears throat> I've never seen that. That seems like one of those movies that's like like when Jack Nicholson does like a rom com nowadays. But here's that I, why that here, I go. Why would I watch that? Yeah. <laughs> but no, here's why. Here's why I watch it. And yeah. Here's why I probably love it is because it's really sad. Uh, uh, like uh, spoiler, the mom dies. So nice. it's really Is sad. That the one with um, Diane Keaton, she yep. has cancer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. but it just the whole. There's something about it that just, again, it's it's a sad movie, but it's also really like happy. It's okay. funny. Do, there's some good. Yeah. There's some good dialogue in there. In in that realm, there's another movie too, like Love Actually. I was gonna say Love Actually. It's Have you guys seen so Love Actually? Good. No, it's really good. Yeah. Okay, so so I hear it's that great. and it's I go, a, it's a little inappropriate. That's so. I feel like that came out on yeah what that came out on Valentine's Day. That's why I never wanted to see oh, it. Oh no no no, because I will never watch a Valentine's Day it's, movie in it, my life. No, it's great though. It's awesome. Again. It's rated R, kids. kids. I don't think kids listen so to this. So there's a, there's a reason I brought this topic up. Every What's Christmas, it? I have this debate with people. I always say that Die Hard is not only my favorite Christmas movie, but it is the Christmas movie. And every, well, pe people okay. always <laughs> the people always <laughs> debate like... We're slowly walking out right now. I, I, can, I can get on board with it being a Christmas movie, but the Christmas movie? It, it's the, defend yourself, sir. It, so it reminds me of Christmas, I guess, more than... Like the other movies, like I, when I watch them, I know I'm watching a Christmas movie. But when I watch Die Hard and I see the Christmas thing, like that's what truly like brings it to mind like it happens on christmas eve it has christmas music and it's got bruce willis killing a bunch of people and it's got alan rickman i mean it's just like that's I think almost the greatest also, argument is bruce willis killing a bunch of people yeah <laughs> also i'm gonna say 
that um, I, it's been years since I've watched it, but the fact that they, they like took a hostage situation on Christmas Eve, that makes the Alan Rickman the best movie villain of all time. Oh, yeah. right? So right. much traffic. Yeah. <laughs> it's on cr- Christmas Eve, that's the worst. I think I think about it like this, Josh. You just tapped in it. Everyone knows what that problem's like. <laughs> I, so much tension there. I, I think about it like this. I think Die Hard is is a Christmas movie in how like Home Alone is a Christmas movie where <laughs> it happens to be around Christmas time, but Christmas is not the point of the movie. But see, no, I don't, I don't think Home, Home Alone, Alone is. Would, I don't think Home Alone could exist if it weren't Christmas. It's right reconciliation. Christmas. But I think yeah, Die Hard could exist in a different time. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a different time. I understand, it, it I understand could, what you mean. Right, they're it's like, a, it's not like supposed to be like, it's not like, it's it's holiday fun. It's the, just like, it's Christmas <laughs> in the movie. Yes, like, and that's what I heard the whole, They wouldn't is. be going on vacation it's, if it weren't Christmas. Yeah, but that, but see, that's just circumstantial. It's, My, a, it's not it's not Christmas in the way that like, and again, I'm not saying this is like one of the best Christmas movies or anything. It's not Christmas in the way that like, Elf really couldn't be a movie if it wasn't <laughs> right. Christmas. Right. Like, my my argument here though is that like networks and people are always labeling movies like Harry Potter a Christmas movie because that's one scene where someone's dragging a Christmas tree through the snow and they're like, well, we can't it's a holiday like movie. That, Josh, like you know it's why? Because people like that shouldn't exist. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that's irrelevant. I don't know what shouldn't exist. No. Yeah. I, he, hey, no I you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I, okay. So I would. <clears throat> I've never seen Die Hard. In fact, when um, this whole thing... Hey, guys, let's just take a moment to uh, dwell on the fact that Travis has yeah. never seen Die Hard. That's and fine. I'm, I think I'm better for I it. I think people that think <laughs> Harry Potter is a Christmas movie are the same people that say Crank Calls. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, okay. and watch, and watch WWE. That, it was always Prank Calls, yeah. right? I don't know where Crank right. Calls Crank Yeah. Us. Anyways. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, <clears throat> when you guys brought this up... I thought you were talking about Lethal Weapon. Yeah, he, he said, the one with like Mel Gibson and Danny Glover, you're like, nope, wrong black guy, wrong white guy. So, <laughs> so I have no business then, in this conversation. Hey, funny yeah, story. Honest, when I saw you with uh, Danny Glover, I was like, the guy from Community? I don't <laughs> funny, know, what is hey, happening? Hey, funny story. When you said Lethal Weapon, the first movie I thought of was Gone Fishing. <laughs> well, you know, when you say Die Hard, I think of Bruce Willis, and I go, and who's the other guy? Uh, Carl Winslow. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so Reginald. here's Reginald Bell Johnson, right? Yeah, yeah. So we're, we're just where do you guys stand on this? Do you think can you call Die Hard a Christmas movie? Sure, sure. Yeah, I'll call it a Christmas. If movie. I'm calling Home Alone a Christmas movie, I'm calling Die Hard. That's a, a bad comparison. Oh, I'm gonna say no because Bruce Willis is in it, <laughs> and, and two because Bruce Willis is in it. <laughs> is it Bruce, Bruce you you just not like Bruce Willis? He's not a Christmas actor. He's not an actor. <laughs> actually, I actually do like him in The Kid, Friends. The kid. <laughs> In friends. friends out of all okay yes all right yes because it's it's so insane um but here's here's what i was thinking i don't know why your this discussion brought up is i need i need cereal to make another podcast yeah a christmas themed one <laughs> but no here's why i associate um the first season of cereal uh-huh. with christmas because that's when i discovered it mm. and that's when i listened to it and that's when i think i single-handedly bumped up the ratings Maybe. Because I shared that podcast with everyone I knew. Shared it like a top. <laughs> and it's one of the best podcasts ever. But I have this. And so I want Serial or someone to come. We need a good podcast entering into yeah. my vacation. You know, what's, you know what's Christmas but not Christmas for me? Is Star Wars Episode Seven came out on DVD right around Christmas time. Ooh. And so Taylor and I watched it while we decorated while we decorated the house. We, we just put it on the TV. And so now, as our second Christmas is coming up and we're decorating, I was like, we have to put on Star Wars. And so now we watch Star Wars Episode 7 every time we're decorating for Christmas. Okay, so who, who is, who or what is the, you know how they have these like unofficial chaplains of teams? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what is the unofficial movie for Christmas that's not a Christmas movie? Uncle Buck. Okay. Oh All dang, right. yeah, that's a good yeah. one. Like if you had to say, hey, we're gonna, we're, yeah. hey, Home Alone got lost. <laughs> yeah. And we're, you know, we're having a Christmas and, movie night. You, you know what the common thread is? John Candy. Uncle mm-hmm. Buck. Yes. Yeah. Dude, yes. He's in both. There, yes, he there is. will never be another actor like John Candy. We're gonna yeah. devote a whole episode of John Candy. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know start Career that thing up again. <laughs> the Great Outdoors, love that movie. <laughs> we didn't even, you know, nobody mentioned uh, Christmas Vacation. I, you know, I watched Christmas Vacation. Me neither. I I'm watched not, Christmas Vacation I, recently, and I don't know if it was because everybody's like, "Oh, it's classic" and all this hype. But I was like, "That's fine. It's whatever." There's a few moments, but there's no there. You know what? You know what it is. It's 
it's Wally World or nothing. I, I thought Vegas Vacation was. I, I look There's at some things there. I yeah. look at National Lampoon like a company that just has limitless <laughs> resources to throw into movies that people may or may not watch. And the, and the, and the, and the one good one that they make is Animal House. And, yeah, and it's so, sometimes it catches with audiences, and sometimes yeah, it doesn't. And they're like, know. okay, guys, we'll just uh, that was a bad idea. <laughs> on to the next one. <laughs> yeah, they just don't care. <laughs> well, Merry Christmas and yeah, Merry, uh, Christmas. Merry Christmas. Yeah, go watch Year Without a Santa Claus. Yeah, and Uncle Buck. Yeah. And Uncle Buck and and Die Hard and, no. look, and, and, and look Charlie for, Brown Christmas and Charlie Brown Christmas yeah absolutely. okay so now we're all just going back and yeah. and lobbying for our yeah, well. and be on the lookout for episode uh, episode episode <laughs> episode uh, episode on movies Ooh. Oh, yeah. oh, okay yeah, hey, exclusive yeah. breaking news yeah. Yeah. I like this hey <laughs> Colin, guys, I guess we have our next video. yes <laughs> guys just a quick reminder if you've subscribed <laughs> to us on iTunes Please. we it's been a while since we've had a new episode so you have to go in and actually refresh your subscription oh sorry um nice Keith just uh nice. keep keep that in mind and we'll uh we'll, we'll be back uh for another episode all right guys Frank here from Super BS, talking about the things you know you love and the things you'd love to know. Join us weekly for a podcast about video games. Mostly. Oh, yeah. That's uh, to us people that can feel things, it, it, uh, it hurts.